Sometimes dad would come up with an idea himself and often writers would pitch in ideas to him or uh, even to a, a script editor like Tony Barwick. Yes. Many of those ideas didn't impress enough to even reach the script stage, however. But today's spotlight is on an unmade episode of UFO titled oh. The Patriot. Right. It made it all the way to paper, but didn't make it into production. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad you're impressed. The Patriot mm. was written by former podcast guest, uh, the late marvellous Leo Eaton, uh, who was then serving as an assistant director on UFO. The story concerns a fictional war-torn African nation called Gatuma, where a UFO damaged by moon-based interceptors crash lands. A band of rebel forces nearly overrun by the Gatumian government rescue the alien pilot shortly before the spacecraft explodes. Alec Freeman is then sent to cover up the incident, only to find that the rebel commander, Major Devere, is holding the alien hostage in an attempt to blackmail Shadow and the UN for military support. Quite advanced, quite grown-up stuff. Yes, isn't Um, it? Commander Straker is forced to choose between getting involved in a political situation that doesn't concern him or abandoning the freedom fighters to certain death at the hands of the government. Cool. Hmm? Dark stuff, UFO. Now, we know about this story because Leo saved a copy and then very graciously shared it with Mark Martin, who posted it on his site, ufoseries.com. What we don't know, however, is why the episode wasn't produced. The story does have a very downbeat ending, but I think that's probably uh, pretty yeah, standard for you, also. Yeah, um, uh, right. That may have been a problem for some, of course. Although, yeah, like, you know, UFO had dark stories throughout and would often end yeah. in, on, a, on a bit of a downbeat, sour sure, note. Yeah. So I don't think it yeah. is that. Most likely, it's that the idea of a group of minority white Africans battling a majority black African government was deemed too similar to the then unstable climate in what was then Rhodesia. Right. And that made that the script wow. meant that the script was just too controversial and so was filed away. Hmm. Despite that, though, it is a strong and dramatic story that puts poor old Ed Straker through even more tough times than he usually has. Mm. Uh, so did you know about this script already UFO fans we would love Ooh. to know uh, if you did or if you didn't uh, and if you yeah. do know about it and if you had time to read it which you can do at ufoseries.com then let us know what you think do you think oh. anything should be done with it I mean would it be a timely thing bearing in mind uh, the UFO audio series that mm-hmm. Big Finish is working on mm-hmm. to uh, have a look at doing that in the future yeah, let us know what you think uh, email us podcast yeah. at jerryanderson.com now, that can't be a one-off, can there? There must be unproduced episode of other series, too. That, or... Well, plenty, like House of Dolls for New Captain Scarlet. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. And the pilot episode for Space Precinct. Indeed, Down to City, City, but thankfully yeah. now yeah. novelised by ex quite right. Novelizator <laughs> Richard James. That's right. Yes, is that a word? It is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I like that. I, I mean, do you think, really, that the, the politics of the real world would have prevented a script being produced for a TV show? Oh, I think possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Could be seen as being too political in and of itself, potentially. Mm. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's interesting. Yeah, I think that's worth keeping in mind. I mean, it's actually, I mean, it's not the same as, but it's quite similar to Noughts and Crosses in a way. Aha, right. That that sort of, that that interesting clash politically, racially, yeah. Um, and something that maybe one doesn't expect from the norm. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's interesting how I wonder how that would translate now, even though it's obviously a, f- a fictional nation, etc. So mm. tough, mm. tough thing to get right. Um, yes, but absolutely. it does sound really interesting, doesn't it? It's just a, a, mm. a great plot and kind yeah. of layers. Nice, nice UFO-y thing. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you uh, like the idea of it, Podstrons, and if you'd like to hear it in um, UFO audio form, because, you know, we can at least investigate it.